winning. Formations for winning and at what level. The Alta League in Atlanta, if it's not the largest, it's certainly one of the largest tennis leagues in the world. And it's great that people are on the court having fun. But at the recreational low level, this is what I would recommend if you want to win. Say you have two right-handed players and they're returning serve or they're serving, doesn't matter. You have the right-hander right here and then you have the right-hander right here. And they're totally going to take the role of the spoiler. If I was teaching them to serve, I'd say put the racket in the pizza position, toss and tap, get the ball in the box. People on the other side, they're going to miss. Let them miss. When it comes back, I'm just going to push the ball back. Now, there's, to me, from a learning developmental standpoint, there's no fun in this. But if you want to win, this is the formation you would use. Now, when it comes down to the pros, I think we have to be very humble. And the pros, many times, when it comes down to you know, lefty, righty, where should the lefty play? A lot of times, the best teams in the history of tennis, you know, you go back to Newcomb and Roach, uh, McEnroe and Fleming, the Bryan brothers, a lot of times they'll switch sides just because they're stale, a little bit flat. They can play both sides. Um, when you have to evaluate, should the lefty be in the middle or to the outside, keep in mind that in tennis, we can't just throw it out and say, what's well, in black and white strategy, it's all these generalities, because it's not. You have to look at the strengths and weaknesses of some for, one's forehand and backhand, you know, how they volley, you know, do they poach better off the backhand side than they do the forehand side. But it, when it comes down to strategy, let me say that for singles as well, but there's no really black and white. This is the way it is. But keep in mind, if you're... Observe it and say, well, in club tennis, the players I'm working with, they want to win tomorrow. They don't have a serve. They don't have an overhead. They don't have a volley. Don't really have a very good backhand. They can put the racket down here and just shovel the ball up in the air. Well, I'm going to put them here, put them here, because I'm going to go with their strength. But really in practice, you have to work on both. Whether it's singles or doubles, you have to work on your strengths. But you also... You also have to work on your weaknesses. So this formation you wouldn't really see in a junior development program. Just think what those two words mean. You're going to have juniors, children, and they're supposed to develop. So it's a matter of trying new things and making mistakes and growing, learning as a tennis player.